Good afternoon. I'm glad you all could make it. Celebrate today. 125th big game tomorrow and the 40th anniversary of the play. They're down to the 20. Oh, the band is out on the field. He's going to go into the end zone. He's going into the end the Bears. The Bears have won. Ron Rivera summed up that day in November of 1982 with a pretty good quote about the anniversary and statue and what everything means. It was the greatest lesson of never giving up. All right, now we'd like to welcome up Kevin Moen, Gary Tyrell, Joe Starkey, and members of the 1982 Cal football team. Kevin, Joe, Gary, guys. It's a place so famous that it only goes by the play. And I'm with the two principals here. It's Kevin Moen, you know him as the cow guy who impaled the trombonist, Gary Terrell. Now, I gotta ask you, today was the unveiling of the statue. What do you guys think? First, Kevin, I mean, that's your moniker. That's your, your face up there. It's a, it's a magical tribute to that era, to that team, and to that moment. So, yeah, it's pretty pretty great to have a, uh, a statue attributed to that play. Gary, are you a little miffed though? I mean, they, they captured the trombone, but I don't see Gary. That, that's okay. That, well, that, that's what I saw. So, I mean, so that, <laughs> that'll be memorialized forever as well. We're with Brian Hanlon, who is the artiste. Is, you guys say artiste, that's artiste, right? No, behind art, this? Artiste is good. You're the one behind bronzing the play, but you had various moments, including when he impaled for right. Gary, the trombone right. player. Why did you choose this moment in time? Well, I'm trying to think about the whole the whole narrative and the whole image when I'm finished, and that's a hard thing to to see before it happens. But this idea of him floating in the air with the relief panel behind him with the band members, I thought would be best for the story and for fans who don't know what it is, they could figure it out, and also um, for pictures. When you guys rolled out of bed that day in 1982, and you're you're, you're playing on special teams. You were the recipient of the fifth lateral, right? Yeah. yeah. And you're on the field nonetheless, and you're playing trombone, right? You know, you figure you show up, you play your instrument. Did you guys ever consider that this would have transpired? Uh, absolutely not. You 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 can dream about scoring a touchdown. You can dream about being a hero and all that stuff. The event that took place at the end of the game, it, it's not something you put into a thought process. It just happens. So fortunately, it was a magical event. So it all worked out good. 